What's up everyone? Welcome back to Rob's Gaming Table. Today on the table we're going to be playing our next solo scenario from our campaign of Cloudspire. Uh, continuing on with the Brawn in, we're doing scenario number four here. Annihilation, I believe it's called. Uh, if you haven't watched our other playthroughs, I'm going to give you a spoiler warning. I'm going to be spoiling how the outcomes of some of them were by talking about our Akarian Renown and our achievements we're going to unlock. And some of the setup is based on what happened in the last episode. So if you haven't already watched our other playthroughs, go back and check those out. They're in a playlist. I'll link it down below. Um, and thank you to everyone who's been following along and watching. Also, thank you to everyone who's donated on Patreon. If you'd like to help support the channel, help us grow here, the link is down in the description below. Thank you. Thank you very much. Uh, thanks to Chip Theory for providing this game. We're going to continue on with it here. Uh, we are playing against the heirs, and it's five waves. And let's get to the spoilers here. Last warning. <laughs> All right. So, uh, first things first. We carried over four renown. Uh, actually, five renown. Sorry, five renown. As you can see there on the table on the right. So we didn't spend any last uh, scenario. We earned three and we're carrying over five. So we're going to spend four of it here in the two check marks there that don't have the used check marks beside them. So we're taking ability, the number one ability or the top one. At the start of your turn within any phase, you'll gain three source. That's reprioritize. And we're going to take reinforcements during wave one in the scenario, gain four source during the income phase and plus one CP during the prep phase. The reason why is because I kind of looked and saw that they're giving us no source again in almost every wave except for the first one. We're only getting three. So because of that, and I know we need to build a bunch of spires, they're expensive, brawn is expensive. I figured we can't carry these abilities over to the next, uh, to the heirs playthrough. This is our final brawn in one. So I'm assuming you can't. So yeah, it says you can't even carry over renown. So I'm assuming it all just kind of ends here. So might as well just blow four out of the five. I could have bought other stuff, but I kind of looked, uh, relic cards, I don't know. I'd rather just have straight up source um, and not gamble on a relic card. I mean, if I get them, I get them, that's great, but I, I don't need one that bad, I don't think. Um, so I'm gonna go with uh, over source. I don't need one over source, unless I mean, you know, one of them gave me uh, seven source and an extra CP on it or something. I haven't even seen all the relics, so I, I don't even know, but. Uh, that's the only way I would go for that one over that. Um, so that's what I picked to start with. So we'll deal with that. I'll try to get those done in the first wave. Obviously one of them I have to in the first wave, but I don't want to accidentally forget them. So uh, just showing you there what I'm buying. So here it is, Brawn Annihilation, Scenario 4, Wave 5, Opponents, Heirs. So the number of Siege Towers I must construct in the first wave is dependent on how much renown you earn in Scenario 3. So we're going to set up four Spires here on A, A, B, and C, and they all have... Uh, I believe it was for attack fortification. Yes. So four spires, attack fortification, and it's A is two. So that's two minarets. Okay. And we need a refuge and a regal lookout spire. Yes. All right. Let's see where these go. Uh, okay. So, uh, all right. So A. Up here, uh, this is the regal lookout is B, and refuge is C, and the minaret was another A. So there we go. Uh, so I don't forget, I'm going to place an elf and Kazi right now on the glide bomb side, on the regal lookout spire, so I do not forget. Normally it would come out in the onslaught phase, but I made that mistake in one playthrough, uh, not putting it out in one wave, so I don't want to forget. So I'll just leave it there. Uh, okay, so I believe the map set up, we got 10 uh fortress health on both sides no source uh because obviously pillaging doesn't happen in solo uh, i think the map is all set up here uh so let's review the objectives so uh you have to have the number of siege tower spires constructed when the scenario ends uh each within four hexes of the for the, the air fortress gate so that number is one plus the amount of renown in the previous scenario so i have to do four uh siege towers four of these bad guys have to be within four hexes so if I look here, uh, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, one, two, three, four. So I have this spot where if I can get rid of that spire, uh, one, two, three, four, this one, two, this here, this here, and this here. So I have one, two, three, four, five without building or escapes. Uh, assuming I get rid of those spires and objective number two is defeat all the air spires. So I'm going to be very motivated to try to destroy these, get them open to then build siege towers. Um, within their gate when the scenario ends. They just have to be there. Uh, we'll see if I can try to get that done. 
and then have Osh deliver the terms of surrender to the Air Fortress Gate. See scenario specific rules. And in the scenario specific rules, uh, the scenario ends immediately when that happens. Uh, scenarios, when Osh ends his movement adjacent to the Air Fortress Gate, he will deliver the terms of, of surrender in place of attacking. This ends the scenario immediately. Okay. So that's one of the things I can do. If I can get Osh from here all the way down this super, super long path here. I love it. Um, I, I can win that way and just get that objective done. And it ends it immediately. So if when it ends, I have those spires built, great. Or if I have all the airs, uh, spires done, uh, that I can get an extra renown off that. But I don't get to carry it forward, I don't think. I think it's just for scoring at the end of solo. You kind of add up all the renown you got, and, and then you kind of see how well you did overall. Um, but we'll see if I can use the extra source. I'm getting an extra CP. See if that will help me uh, continue to get more than one uh, renown. Uh, so the other thing is scenario-specific rules. When brawn and minions are defeated, they are removed from play instead of being returned to the barracks. That sucks. So, like, for example, uh, Source Siege. I have one. So if I use this guy uh, and he dies in a wave, obviously he will die in a wave. If I played him, uh, he would be gone and I couldn't use him again. Uh, that sucks. And the scenario ends immediately if the Air Fortress Gate is defeated. So I don't want to defeat that unless I have destroyed all the Air Spires or, and or have built my uh, four Siege Towers. And AI Notes. Uh, Jelena Nestor, that is their like best hero here. Um, has the mark of closest opposing unit or spire, and a leveling will get a fortification upgrade. Okay, Elf and Kazi uh, stuff here for the AI talent triggers. We know this. They start out on the glide bomb side. This is the same as before. Um, and uh, it will start on units or spires when it becomes active. Air defense hits flying units over other units if it can choose. Glide bomb uh, triggers if the unit used Roost Roam to move and is adjacent to opposing unit after movement. And then ro roast room, roost roam. Uh, this unit will only move if it, uh, from its roost if it's able to move adjacent to an opposing hero. Uh, if this unit has multiple options of hexes to move into, uh, it will choose one that's closest to the most opposing unit. Uh, when starting off of a roost, it will move adjacent to an opposing hero if possible. So that's if the spire it's under or on top of, or the units on top of, goes away and it starts below it on the ground. Kind of, it's still flying. Uh, and then if it uses the Roost Roam, which is the amount of it's this ability, uh, it will move closest to the next adjacent hero if possible. If not, uh, if that's unavailable, the next um, closest opposing unit or spire. And then do its Glide Bomb at that point, I guess, because it used Roost Roam to move. So it will always take the, the movement of its last Roost it was on. So in this case, this guy will get to move three spaces. All right, the event die. Uh, one to two. Battleborn minions, I, I can't choose them to deploy that wave. Three to four, I can't choose dispatches, and five to six, I can't choose Aegis. And let's continue with the setup here. Let's start with our uh, swamp uh, swamps here. Uh, let's just shuffle them up, and we are going to uh, closest to my gate. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. So I have three to choose from. I'm going to choose this one here because it is along the path. So hopefully my guys can get over there and deal with that quickly and get some fast source would be nice. Um, and then the closest one to theirs is probably one of these two. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. So it's a choice. I think that one's a little far out of the way. I want to choose this one. Maybe I can get to it and get some source off it at some point during the scenario. Uh, so that's that. Uh, so let's make a mess here. And look away. And pick up all of these, at least try to, and not forget any behind <laughs> and confuse myself. Okay, uh, and we'll shuffle them a bit. Okay, let's put them down here and do a cut. Let's go here. Okay, so uh, up here we'll start. Uh, we get a temple, swamp, temple. Uh, here, ruins, uh, up here, swamp, and I think that is all of the spires. All right, landmarks are done. Uh, mark it. Okay, so let's just spill these everywhere and just gonna pick them up in different order. Okay. Cut it there. All right, we got three, 
off the top uh, are going to be a blade wall. Three attack, one fortification. Can't upgrade it. Uh, five source to buy that. Spire. Uh, we got a hero here. Roa. Two range. Four health, one attack. Two move. Can go on mountains or below. Five source to get this guy. And we got an elite duelist. Has assault. Five health. I've used this guy before. Three attack, three movement. Six source. A lot of pricey. Five, five, and six. Wow. That's gross. All right. Throw those away there. Um, and, oh, landmarks. Okay. Let's, uh, all right. First one is this guy. Okay. Uh, I think we're good. Uh, I think we are good. Got all the spires covered. Or source wells covered, sorry. Uh, yes. Okay. Um, roll event die. Uh, let's see here. Roll event die. Five. So I cannot build Aegis. So for this, I figured I'll cover up the Aegis with a health chip. So I remember not to build them. Uh, that's good. Three source. Uh, so actually, beginning of wave one, I will do the whole. So for my achievement, I get. Uh, four plus one extra CP. Then the other one I'll use, go up to seven. Then this three source will shoot me up to 10. So I'll start with 10 source right off the hop. Let's not play any games and I have the extra CP. So I've used up all my achievements that I unlocked there and to use in this scenario. So I do not forget to use them later. Figured I can spend that source probably. So that should be fine to get it now. Um, and on to the market phase, which I will buy something, I think. Uh, I mean, this guy's pretty, pretty good for destroying spires. Moves at three. Uh, I know I, I looked ahead. I saw in the market phase eventually, and I assume this is because my units will die and not go back to my barracks. So I can't reuse them. So I'll th maybe run out of minions. Uh, I may want to purchase Merc minions. And it shows here in wave three and five. The heirs are just going to purchase a Merc minion and not deploy it. So they just kind of steal it away since they go first in those waves. And that's one less unit I can just purchase and get out. So I, I want to get him just so that doesn't get stolen. But also something I want to th uh, think about, uh, which you're looking at this choke point here, kind of analyzing this before starting here, is uh, I know Harriers are very popular and we've dealt with them with the heirs. And ma basically air units move fast. We know this. So they will come across the board, four spaces, four spaces in two turns. They can be like all the way up here. My guys are turtles. They move super slow. One, two, three, four. That's like two turns. I can be like there. So eventually they're going to meet in here in this choke point. And that's a problem. My units are going to get stuck there, get smashed there. I can't get around. So what I was thinking is earthscaping and shape, reshaping the landscape here to make kind of uh, like, for example, with this one, make um, kind of like this make an additional way I can get around as they come up, you know, kind of come through here. Or if they like kind of pile up against me and I destroy one, I can kind of move through. Um, oh, also forest on this one is good for my heroes. They can use that as kind of path. Uh, so I might purchase this right now and maybe use it somehow here. Uh, but either way, I'm going to purchase it uh, in the market phase. And that'll be my purchase. Uh, so I'll get that Earthscape and flip the next one. Ooh, and spires. Uh, source wells on this one is actually really good uh, because what I was thinking is if I can't get these off here, I might, if I can even get influence all the way over to here, uh, if I could put an earthscape there in the future and plop some uh, spires on them, um, that could help me get the spires I need near their fortress gate. Also help me if I can get a siege tower early to then maybe start hitting their spires and taking them down. Uh, that's the other way I like to do it. But, I mean, that's far away, so I don't know if I can get influence over there. Um, but I bought that done. Also, heirs build stables level 1. So let's see what that is. Uh, stables level 1. Harrier training. The health stat of all Harrier minions is permanently increased by 1. That sucks. Okay. Uh, all right. So back to here. Uh, Brawn may construct a dispatch platform or mining outpost spire for free on any non-path hex up to 5 hexes away. From their fortress gate. So this I was thinking about too. Of reading it. Uh, since I need to build four uh, siege towers. Within four hexes from their gate. 
and I only have four. This has happened to me before where I've built one of these things and you can't deconstruct it. You can't hit it yourself and take it down. You gotta pray the enemy will come and destroy it so that you can rebuild it in a later wave somewhere more ideal. I don't wanna risk that. I don't wanna build these and it's given me that choice. If I only had a couple of renown last uh, scenario and I only need to build three of these, I would build one right now for sure, but I'm gonna pass on that and instead build one of these drilling outposts. This is mining outposts. I think they mean this one. Uh, it has mining ability, drilling outposts. So I'm going to do a fortification. And I thought about where to put this. Uh, I could put it up here, but that's silly. Because I was just talking about I want to get influence down here. So I have influence over this hex group here, this aisle. Uh, I don't over this one right now. But if I were to build on this one, which is up to five, one, two, three, four, five. So I can build pretty much anywhere on here. Obviously not on these two chips. Any non-path. So, uh, and I thought I could, I could do it here, but that's adjacent to the path and it could get hit and I could, I could pop this later using the mining ability to get six source at the end of a wave. So to keep it more safe and put it on this hex, I think the only spot really is here. I could put it there, but then again, next to path, this one's not next to path. So I'm going to put it there. Now I have influence over this hex group down here, this, uh, aisle. So I could start to build my Earthscape or Spires on this one. So that's sweet. All right. That is where I chose that. More build. I have eight source left. Could I build an awesome Spire already? I could buy Smelter. Source Drill will give me three source going forward. Mm. Mm -hmm. No. I will buy Source Drill. I'm going to invest in the future here three source and in future income phase. So that is three down to five. I believe that's how much that one is. I do it almost every time. Yeah, drilling refinements, gain plus resource during each income phase. Cost is three, perfect. Okay, so that'll help me going forward having some more source. Um, do I plop this thing down now? Do I plop it down now? So I can do it on this hex and keep the path the same. But see, this is, I wanna get rid of this choke point here. So I feel like there. See, I want to put a spire on it. I can't do it right now. I only have five source. So not enough to build. I could build a dispatch platform hoping it gets destroyed. Hmm. Yeah, maybe I'll just put it like this. And I could build one on here. Yeah. Well, let's do it like that because like my heroes can move through here or do I want it so my guys can move through too? I could one two three four see that's not close enough to put a siege tower on it anyway just thinking placement for future spire uh, if I want the spire there it'd probably be an air defense because I don't want to use a siege tower on here so let's say it's an air defense in the future or a blade wall Oh, that has no range. So I'd have to put that. Well, I could put that still here and it'd be close to the path. Uh, yeah, let's just do it like that. All right, so that's my build. Uh, anything else I want to build? I don't think so. I'll save the five source. Uh, do I... Do I build anything else? No, I think we're good. I think we're good. Unless... Do I build another drilling outpost? They only cost three. One, two, three, down to two. Yeah, let's do another drilling outpost. Uh, I mean, I could put it here, but I don't think that helps. Let's just, oh, that's the only place I can put it. I guess I could put it on here. Am I allowed to do that? Drilling outposts has the mining ability. Uh, mining. At the end of a wave, you may return the spire to your barracks to gain six source. Cannot be constructed during the onslaught phase. Doesn't say I can't construct it on my fortress. <laughs> yeah, because there's no guarantee it survives over here. Uh, unless I look at Harrier, Joust, uh, promoted Harriers, I think, can take it. it uh, yeah, they hit for two. And regular Joe sits for two. Yeah, so they can easily take that tower out. Can't put it at risk like that. So let's just do it here in my fortress gate. 
or uh, yeah, right by my fortress. So that's fine. All right. The end of a wave. Okay. And down to two source. Done the build phase. So let's set up their stuff. Regular joust. Promoted Harrier. Grouped. Uh, three health. And let's do a Harrier on the top. Non-promoted. Regular Harrier. Quick strike. Hitting for one. Uh, gets extra health off the stables thing that they built. Jerks. Uh, and I get 6 CP because I had that uh, achievement unlocked. So uh, obviously Osh is going to get deployed. He's got to come out there. He's got to, he's, he's my man in this scenario. Even though I hate him, he's super squishy. Uh, we're going to use him. Um, and I said 6. So I can't build the Aegis. Uh, interesting. I could do 3 Battleborns and they all die and I never get to pick Battleborns again. I could do an Architect. Or a couple dispatches. I want to save them later for flying units. Hmm. Architect and uh, Battleborn. Yeah, we'll go that route. Okay, uh, let's do Architect behind the Battleborn. I think that's the way you want to do it. Yeah. I don't want to do the source siege. That could be for 6 CP, but I want to use that later again with range. Uh, using it when there's the flying units coming in. We know if we look ahead and kind of cheat a little bit here, we can see there is Royal Talons. And those guys are like, they give me nightmares. Uh, yeah. <laughs> All right. So let's just go with that. Um, yeah, I can't get another hero. It would be amazing if I could use on a hero, but that's okay. We're good there. Um, next, we will start the round. Okay. Uh, so we got our Elf and Kazi set up here in the Onslaught phase. The first is the heirs. Heirs will go. One, two, three, four. And one, two. Okay. Uh, this guy obviously doesn't move. No hero to go after. My turn. No spiders to fire or anything. Battleborn, uh, one, two, and one, and this guy, one, two, will go up here, start trying to explore these, uh, no spires of fire, let's explore, uh, we get a toxic secretion guy for four health, I don't think I want to deal with this guy yet, because my guys are going to move through here, so I'll keep him face down, let's explore this one, thorax, another toxic secretion, what the heck? Four health, five health, yeah. Uh, I can I can do this one though, because I, I think Osh will just chill there for now. And he can just fight this guy. Get me some five source. That'd be nice. And doesn't retaliate, so that's sweet. Okay. Um, yeah, there's no reason. Because this guy would only attack for one. Move in, get hurt. Nah, let's leave it. Okay, uh, attacks. So Osh will hit this for one, then two, because of his hunter ability. Not take any retaliation. Because this thing doesn't have an attack stat. All right. That's my turn. These guys. One, two, three, four. Already over here. Wow. One, two. And that's that. No spires to fire. My turn. One, two. One, two. Now, do I reveal this guy now? This guy will take a damage when he moves. No. Because one, two. One, two. Yeah, maybe I just do it with Osh shortly. Uh, okay, so let's do a reveal. Uh, let's reveal this one. Ooh, tracks our roughneck. Engage, hitting for two. Ooh, okay. Uh, that's all right. That is all right. Uh, this one. Uh, Gateport. Okay, interesting. I can spend six source to pop that, get a relic card, or I can use it to rift walk on if I could somehow. I don't think there's gate ports under swamps, so oh well, maybe down here that would be cool. Oh, that's another way I could maybe get rid of this choke point. I mean, I've already built this, but maybe that's one down there, a gate port. I mean, maybe. But that's it. That's the only other way I think that I can be there. All right. Uh, so attack time. He has to attack this guy. Hits him for two. 
Gets smashed back for two, down to one health. It's not good for Osh. Uh, okay. And nothing happening here. So then these guys will go one, two, blocked, one, two. Okay, quick strike. This guy will actually hit before Spire's fire, not there's any of the fire. And get retaliated on for one. Okay, done. I will go to move, can't move. Uh, so maybe, no, we need to get rid of these guys. So I'm actually gonna move away from the Traxar dude. Because I have to. Hmm. Yeah, Osh being that low is crazy. I might have to just go to the Fortress Gate eventually. They don't move. This guy, yeah, he'll come down here. And then uh, I will reveal this one. No, no, I won't. Because if Osh moves in, he's toast. Yeah, I can't. I can't do it. Uh, so let's just leave those alone. Uh, then the Battleborn will hit for one and retaliate. Kills him, and he's gone from the barracks. Uh, that's that. They will go. This guy will move one. This guy will move two. Uh, quick strike. It's for one. Did I do too much damage to my Battleborn? Uh, yes, so I checked the footage. Uh, I went back. Yes, I did screw that up and took away two health off this guy by accident. Uh, so he will kill this uh, Harrier. And uh, get me two source. Here you're gone. Uh, yes. All right. So this Battleborn did not die yet. He's still still got one health. Uh, okay. So that's my turn. They will go. One, two. Quick strike. He's definitely gonna destroy the Battleborn. <laughs> Okay, uh, no spires, obviously. Um, my turn. What's under here? Promoted, Harrier. Uh, so this guy's going to move up here for sure. Osh is going to move here. We will reveal this guy for health. Okay. Um, then Osh will attack this thing for two. Uh, the architect. Why does he only have three health? Should be at four. Four health. Right, right, right. So the architect, debating hitting here so I don't get retaliated on. But yeah, I don't think there is a good way to do this. Yeah, we'll just hit the Joust for one, retaliate on for two. Uh, the Joust will go, quick strike, kills the builder, the architect. Wow, so yeah, they don't even get through this little part here. Okay. Uh, that's their turn, my turn. Uh, ooh. Let's run away. Okay. Um, then they will go, uh, one toxic secretion, two toxic secretion and kills the joust. And then a harrier will come out of nowhere with, uh, three health and it will attack 
on this guy, killing him. So I don't get the source, but at least the source well is open now. Uh, so that's that. My turn. This guy will move one, two, and he'll go after the fortress gate. So I think Osh is good to stay there. Yeah, it's fortress gate. Yeah, opposing fortress gate, then hero can defeat. So this thing will go one, two, attack the fortress gate for two, get retaliated on for one. Okay. And now my turn, Osh will just kill the Harrier and get one source to five. And he will take uh -huh. if I take an attack upgrade, he can kill that Traxar Roughneck. Hmm. Yeah. I think is the right play. Because he'll attack for two, one extra on the landmark. Yeah, he can kill that. Get promoted. Chill there for a minute before he goes into toxic secretion territory. Okay. So that ends the wave. We don't worry about the elephant causes. They don't keep the wave going. We'll just leave it there. We'll have to set it up again next onslaught phase anyway. So I don't forget. I'll just leave it there. Okay. So that's the end of that wave. Uh, all right. We're going to roll the event die. Oh, sorry. End of the wave. Uh, I'm going to pop this drilling outpost. Uh, bring it back for a six source. Shoot up to 11. Uh, this one I won't yet because I need I need it there for the influence over here. Unless I plan to build here anyway. Yeah, let's pop it. Six. Send me up to 17. Then I get three in the next. Yeah, let's do it. Let's pop this one. Okay, uh, I'll go up to 17, because what I'll do is just build a spire right here, which gets me influence again over to here, and it's fine. Uh, okay, so those are end of the wave, start of the wave, event die, it's three, so I cannot build dispatches. Okay, uh, now I get three more source up to my max of 20. Okay, market phase, uh, I think I'll buy that elite duelist right now, before they take it. Yeah, let's do it. So that's six source down to 12. Do I do that? Or do I buy this and put some more source wells up in their base probably? Yeah, who who would be better spent on? Uh, siege tower down here, wreck and shop with this thing if I can build here. Yeah, let's... Ah, uh, this guy will go away though the next, and he's very good. Very good. But we'll even make it through here. What's coming up next? We have, uh, so we did wave one. So wave two. Oh, they're getting range upgrades to each of their spires. So that means their spires will be able to hit guys as they pass through much easier. Uh, and multiple times probably as they pass through. So that, that guy might not make it that far. Uh, yeah, let's not do it. We'll go back up to 20. I don't know why I just went down to 12. I think I took away too much. What did I spend it on? Nothing. Okay, so I'll spend two. Sorry, down 18. Let's grab this uh, Earthscape. Okay. Um, yeah, that's my build. Or my market, sorry. On to the build. So let's add the range upgrade to the bottom of all their spires. Okay, so they're all more annoying. Uh, all right, what do I want to build? So let's think here. So we have to build a tower here and here so that I can put this Earthscape down here so that I have influence over this next text group. So let's start here. We are going to build... Uh, oh, we have to build our new tower thing. So let's shoot down to 12 to spend 6 on Smelter so we can build our better towers. Uh, do I have enough still? 12? I could. Ye mm, no. So let's just... I mean, I can put this down here now. It doesn't matter. But I could also wait to see what happens. Hmm. 
Yeah, well, that's knowable, but then I could use limited build options and get something out quick. Okay, let's think here. So first we're gonna build, uh, let's spend six to get a uh, Lance Launcher, attack and a range. It says air defense, so it can help against flying units. Let's put it up here. Okay, well, let's build another Lance Launcher, I think. Or do I do a drilling outpost? No, I think we do a Lance Launcher. Kill some dudes. Uh, we'll throw that there. So now I've influence here. I was able to build there. Now I can put this over here. Uh, so that may be a limited build option on it, assuming I still have the spire in, intact. <laughs> uh, we could. Uh, I need it within. I need these two. Whoops. I need these two like within four of the gate. Then also being able to hit the gate, hit other spires would be helpful. Uh, yeah, well, let's put it like that. Let's put it like that. Okay. Um, or not. Do I want to have... No, I don't want to have Spires next to this Elf and Kazi who can attack them. At least not yet, until I get that tower destroyed. One, two, three, four. No, this one isn't. No, I want them close though, so that they can shoot down here also. Hmm. But I mean, this wave, the guys will already be gone by the time I build. So let's just do it like one, two, three. So if I build a siege tower, I think I can hit dudes like down here and these two things. Yeah, I think that's the play. All right, well, let's go. Uh, so that's my build phase done. Uh, did I spend my six? I didn't spend the other six. So I'm down to nothing left, right? So that is, I had 20, so two for that, 12 for this, and I did smelter. So that's all my source spent. Woo, that was fast. Uh, okay, so it sucks that the tra tracks are roughnecks up here where I could build a tower if I defeat him and I don't get source off him uh, because I don't want to build a tower up there because I can only build six, right, is my limit. So if I'm trying to build four within the air fortress gate within four hexes and then I have these two, like unless one of these gets defeated, but why would I want to build one up so far away? Uh, so yeah, I think that's the play. All right, um, so let's go to prep phase. Uh, so let's set them up here. We have promoted jousts, promoted jousts. Oh man, uh, that move for three, hit for three, four health. And then we have two regular harriers underneath in a group. Wow, so that's four health. And they're on top of a Humminger. This guy carries uh, two roosts and has one elephant on him too, an elephant Kazi. So he has three health. And he'll go here. He'll have an elephant Kazi on him. And we'll throw the Joust's group on top. All right. I think we're good. Uh, oh, seven CP. Yeah, that's important. <laughs> Do I do the Forsaken? Does he come yet? Or Cram? I think we do Cram. I think we do Cram and not Units. Yes. Let's do Cram. Let's get him out into play. Let's try to get him promoted. Five health. 
Uh, I have no extra units. Uh, yeah. Sure. Let's go that route. Uh, okay. So we're going to uh, start with the brawn in. So let's do, uh, we said Asha is going to come up here and cram. I guess he just wants to push forward. One, two. All right, Spires will fire, nothing to fire on me. Uh, let's fight this Traxor Roughneck. Hit for two plus the landmark hunter ability. Kills this guy. I'm not gonna build the Spire. He's gone, uh, but Osh will flip to his promoted side, loses his attack upgrade. So now he has survival. He's three health on both sides, so he doesn't get any extra health when he flips. There's no difference. That's sucky. Uh, all right, and this guy is good. All right, they will go. Uh, let's see here. One, two, three. Uh, one, two. Okay. Uh, they have nothing to attack. No spires to fire. We're good. All right. Cramp. One, two. Osh stays there. He won't attack. He'll heal up one. He needs to because he can't go after toxic secretion guy until he has at least two health to walk in there. Or else he just gets melted. Uh, so that's good. No spires to fire. We're good. All right, uh, one, two, okay. Um, they will go one, two, three, and one, two. Uh, this thing only has two roosts, but he wants to go after Cram for sure. Okay, so uh, quick strike doesn't matter. There's not, none to attack. Spires will fire though. Uh, air defense, one, two, not enough to get that Elfin Kazi yet. Uh, but let's go after uh, the Joust for one die. Two! Nice! Okay. He's down to two health left. But he's grouped up with like 300 other dudes under him. All right. So that's their turn. Uh, they won't attack anything. And yeah, this guy won two. Okay. So Cram. Now, hold on. I need to make sure Cram doesn't get too close. That this guy's movement, he would be here. And then that's two roosts. Uh, so he's here. One, two. So Cram can't move forward or else he get glide bombed. Um, so we'll just leave it on there. Uh, so then Cram won't move. Osh will move up one. Toxic secretion. And no spires to fire. Attack time. This guy will attack for the three needed to kill him since he attacks for two now with uh, the hunter ability. Kills this thing. Uh, gets me five source. Yeah. And gets an upgrade for Osh. Uh, which I think he'll go with the fortification. Since he needs to survive. That's key. Alright, so he's done. They're done. Here we go. One, two, three. Okay. Oh, I put this on the wrong way. This should be attack and range. I'm a dummy. Okay. Uh... One, two, okay. Uh, now the problem is this guy has quick strike. So he actually attacks before Spire's fire and loses a range. That's annoying. But maybe I can put one on in the start of my next turn so we can shoot this damn Elfin Kazi. But he will be here and he'll still get to bomb me. Oh, that's so frustrating. That's so frustrating. I should have put an upgrade. I couldn't. I didn't have enough source. All right, that's fine. Yep, that's fine. Okay, so that's him. These guys can't attack. One, two. Nope, not enough roofs roam. My turn. Cram's going to move. If I move up here. They will run by. This guy would be here. One, two, still get to bomb me. So let's go back one. Is that enough? No, we gotta go back one more. Okay. Osh will just stay where he is. Uh, he's just gonna do his survival and get a health at the end of the turn. Uh, no spires of fire, nothing to attack. This guy will come in. One, two, three. Okay. And one, two. Okay. Oh, I forgot the start of my turn. Sorry. I'm gonna spend the two. Uh, I should have done this last turn. 
to get that range back on there. Uh, okay, and that is a limited build option. And do I want to put another one? Can I? Three? Yes, I can. Yeah, let's do it. Let's throw another one on there. Spend all my C, uh, my source. Okay. So they move quick strike. Uh, he'll actually attack my hero, Cram, who, oh, who will only take one because of armored. He retaliates back, kills the joust, uh, gets me two source. Cram will take an attack. Does he take an attack? He'll be getting hit. So I'm not worried about these Harriers. It's this guy on the top. Uh, yeah, he'll take an attack. Okay. Uh, so then the Joust will come out for four health. Next uh, elite promoted Joust, whatever. Okay. Uh, Spires will fire now. He had quick strike, so he went attack first. So Spires will fire. Uh, so we'll do one here for one. Okay, this one here, I'm going to shoot on the Elephant Kazi for one. Kill it. Because it has flying. Air Defense Tower will get it. Yeah. One, two, three. Okay. Um, and that's that. They're done. Uh, this, guy already, this group already attacked, so I don't think he attacks. So they hold the whole quick strike thing. Uh, my turn. Osh, I think... He's going to chill up there and not do anything, so he's just going to heal up again, up to his full health with survival. Uh, Cram can't move. Cram can't move. So he is going to just uh, attack. Yeah, he attacks for three, so he'll just attack the Joust, kill it. I'll get two more source, up to four. Joust is gone. Cram will take... I don't think it matters too much, but it'll take another attack. Just want to get him promoted ASAP. Uh, so that is that. Uh, and yeah, they're good. Okay, this guy doesn't get to move anywhere. Quick strike. Uh, hits for one, but armored blocks it. Cram will hit back for four. Uh, oh yeah, this guy's going to move. One, two. Uh, so this guy dies. Two source. Up to six. Next one comes out, three health. And Cram will actually flip to his promoted side. He'll get an extra health because this difference, five to six. Okay. Uh, those are attack upgrades are gone. Spires will fire. Because that was him attacking him, right? Yeah. Uh, Lance Launcher on this Humminder for one. Take him down to two. This Lance Launcher on this Harrier for one. Take him down to two. Okay. Uh, and then they don't attack. This guy already did his whole thing. Uh, all right. So my go, Cram. I have enough source to pop this, but... I mean, that could be a way Osh sneaks around. Interesting. Then that lets these guys loose. Yeah, Osh is going to move one, two. And Cram will stay where he is. Or does Osh? No, Osh is already good. He is good. So uh, Cram will just attack this guy. Take out the Harrier. Two source. Up to eight. He'll take... Hmm, Let's go with a fortification. Okay. Uh, that's that. Humminger. One, two. Doesn't have quick strike, so we got Spires. Uh, just this one. For one. Takes me down to one. Then it will attack for two. Uh, one gets through. Taking away the fortification. Uh, but then the retaliate kills this guy, and then he'll just take a fortification back. Humminger gone to source, up to ten. Oh, I forgot my build stuff. Oh well, I can do that now anyway. Um, 
Yeah, that was kind of bad, actually. I should have done it so I can get more firing on their towers. Uh, that's bad. Okay, I forgot about the limited builds. This one I used, whatever, but that's gone. Okay, so the next wave, because uh, that is all the units except for Elephant Kazi, they don't count. They don't keep the wave going. We'll just leave that guy there. We won't take him off. Uh, all right, wave three. No event I roll. Sweet. So I can build anything or hire anything. Uh, income phase, I'll get three from my source drill ability up to 13. Um, hmm. What's coming here? Joust, Harrier, 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 Windrush, all oh, promoted Harriers. Wow. Royal Talon. This is a heavy, heavy wave. Uh, okay. So, uh, purchasing, they get to go first. So they will do this whole buy a Merc and not use it. Uh, oops, next one, there we go. Uh, what is it? Uh, lost Meyer has assists as hero. Uh, basically when he's beside a guy who does a kill, he gets a, an upgrade also. Cause he has no attack, but he can hold three upgrades. All right, so what do we want to do? Should we purchase anything there? Heroes are useless to me. I can't. I already have two in play. Uh, I don't want Blade Wall. I already have two Spires built, and I need to build four closer to base. I don't think I need any more Earthscapes. I think I'm good there. So I'll pass on the market. Uh, build phase. They build Sanctuary uh, level three. Sanctuary level three Fortress Spires. So they build two Minaret Spires. Uh, but I only have one available because the other one is actually on the back of this. I haven't killed any towers yet, so they just get that and their attack and range on their fortress. Uh, I'll put it here. Yeah, because hopefully that's closer to this where I build siege towers to shoot it. All right. Uh, my builds here. My builds. So I can build... Yeah, I should have built siege towers in one of the build in one of my turns, so it could have had maybe a shot or two on one of these towers. Uh, so I will spend six going down to seven to siege tower it up. Attack range range. These have the raise ability, so they can fire on towers or the gate at the start of my turn. Let's throw it up here. I think. Yeah, because I don't want to put it near the Elf and Kazi so it starts getting hit. I need to get rid of this tower first, then I can build one here. I think is the best play. Uh, what do I have left? Seven? Man, I could build another one. That'd be sweet. Or I could save it and just build it later. Or I can upgrade this thing. Yes, yes. Let's put another attack die on it. Uh, our attack chip for four. Going down to three. And then for that other three, I will build a drilling outpost. And I'll just throw that up here. Okay. One, two, three, four spires. So I'm still within limit. I'm still good. And I'll pop this one at the end of the wave to get six source for next wave to help me pay for uh, one there. So that's my plan. Uh, all right. On to building their prep phase here. Let's do a promoted joust with three promoted harriers behind it. And that's going to be four health. And this is crazy groupings. And the next is a windrush uh, promoted, which moves for five, attacks for two, has five health, and has to have a grouped unit because it has transport. So, of course, they give it a royal talon underneath. Who's regular us flying can move on water and anything hits for three moves for two five health also so this is a beefy beefy little combo coming sneaking across the map yeah, those royal talons are trouble but i have air defense towers so this shouldn't be as bad mm. I have no source so there's no no upgrade on this that could be something to do all right uh so next is nine cp for me Nine CP for me. How do I want to do this? Uh, so let's do. So I have no restrictions on guys. Hmm. So 
So I know flying is coming. So a dispatch. Can we do a source siege? No, not yet. Uh, I love to get them promoted so they hit for two and at range. Can maybe hit this spire. Uh, okay. Let's do instead. Can do nine CP. Forsaken and a Battleborn. Sure, let's try it. I don't really play with the Forsaken. Not really a fan. Too risky, but they could. They might be the only unit that can survive through this here because they can move on water. Uh, so I can maybe sneak them down by the mountains here. I just really want to get rid of this. Uh, spire really bad and I can't do it with a source siege because it only hits for one until I can upgrade it to hit for two to be able to do some rain shots from up here uh, which I like usually doing but I didn't, don't have enough source to do I could have instead of putting this on the bottom here but I also I could do that no let's just wait we'll just use this to Work on the objective, get rid of their, get rid of, getting rid of their spires. Uh, so, Forsaken, seven health. Boom. He's got unruly, so I gotta roll this die for him, and it may make him not move, not attack, or it's got a couple blanks on it, so he just works as normal. Uh, and then I said a Battleborn on top. Where did he, where did he go? Oh, right there. Right, and that is nine. Okay, sure. All right, uh, on to the wave. Okay, so airs go first. Wave three. One, two, three. Promoted Jokes gets to move a little quicker. Um, this guy wants to move for five, but he kind of gets blocked by his buddy here. Doesn't have any other kind of training go on. Uh, spires, no, nothing to attack. Quick with quick strike. They both have quick strike, but spires one, two, three. So I can fire on these with this. So let's actually, uh, what do I want to do here? I think I want to fire on. Oh, no, it doesn't have air defense, so I can't hit the elf and Kazi. What's under here? Joust, a bunch of harriers. Yeah, it's the quick strikes that are so bad. Uh, let's just do on the Joust. Um, no, let's do it on the wind rush. Wind rush. Uh, for two. Down to three. Okay. Uh, that's them. My turn. Uh, Osh is going to go here. Cram, one, two. Battleborn, one, two. This guy, let's roll his die. Yeah, he's good. Blank, so one. <laughs> uh, unless for some reason I wanted him in the front. Would I want him in the front over the Battleborn? I don't know. No, I think not. I think we'll do the play where you try to sneak behind. Okay, uh, so I don't have six source to pop this thing yet. But that is something worth doing, possibly. All right, so no attacks, no nothing, they're done. Uh, one, two, three. And this guy will just come up behind with his five movement. Um, okay, so quick strike, doesn't matter, nothing to attack. Uh, one, two, three, can't reach with this tower. Oh, I forgot the raise, forgot the raise. Let's do that now. Um, right here on this tower for two. All right, hits for three, but only gets rid of one, so it has no range. Okay, that's done. Good, good, good. Okay. Um, all right, so these guys moved. Uh, spires will fire. Uh, so one die, and we'll fire on the Joust. Let's weaken him up for one. Okay, uh, that's good. My go, one, two, three. I think I will wait, unless I want to take the hits over the Lance Launcher, which might be a good idea. Uh, 
you know, let's just keep them, keep them locked. Uh, Battleborn, and then let's roll the Forsaken die. Can't move. Great. But it can still attack. <laughs> All right, they're done. Uh, okay, so no attacks, no spires. Yep, can't reach. Elfenkazi, can't reach this guy yet. So they'll go. Uh, one, two. Uh, this guy will speed up behind. So quick strike doesn't matter on this guy, but does on this guy. So he will just knock away the fortification off Cram. Because he hits for two, but I have armored. He hits back for two. Takes the joust down to one. Uh, spires. Let's fire. Yeah, let's fire on the joust. Uh, one die. Uh, it's a one. So the joust is gone. Two source. Okay. That was the spire. So, sorry, three, three health for Harriers. Okay. Um, and that group already attacked, so they're done. My turn. If I go up here, oh, did I forget to raise again? I probably did. Uh, but I'll shoot on. How many have I moved? Battleborn, one, two. So two turns have gone by, so I should have had two raises. So I will fire again on this one. I got three, so I do take out the fortification. Okay. Now my turn again. I'll fire this. Start of my turn. Blanks. Great. Uh, <laughs> so then cram. This thing still can bomb him if he goes up there. But I mean, maybe I just do it and hit this thing. One, two. Okay. Uh, so he's there. Oh, he actually can move three, but I need it to hit here. Yeah, he'll just stay there. Uh, I don't have enough to pop this yet. Osh will stay hiding. This guy moves two. Uh, this guy, does he move? Yes, he does. One, two. Okay. Um, Spires uh, will fire here. For one, gets blocked by armored. No other spires can reach. Uh, so, attack time. I will... Hmm. Yeah, let's just attack this tower. Because I don't want to get counterattacked by this. So I'll attack the tower, start taking it down. Um... Battleborn will attack this guy. He retaliates back for two. Battleborn's down to one health. And this guy doesn't attack anybody. And Osh is just sleeping up there. All right. So, uh, wait. Does this count as a path hex? Rift walk overload. Uh, let's see here. No, Overload is just how to get rid of it. You spend six swords to gain its reward. Uh, Rift Walk. Treat this landmark as a path hex. Uh, and if you move on to it, if you can, you can teleport. I've been stuck there. I've been stuck there for no good reason. So, damn. All right, Osh. Yeah, I'm a dummy. Osh was sitting there for no reason. He'll just move there. So they did their attack. Everyone's done. Okay, these guys will go. Can't move, can't move. Uh, quick strike. This guy's going to quick strike on Cram. Hitting only for one because armored blocks one. Gets retaliated for two. Down to one health on the wind rush. This guy will quick strike the Battleborn. Battleborn goes to the dead pile. Uh, and then Spires will fire. So Spires will fire. Let's fire on this Harrier. For one. Take him down to one. Or 
Probably should have fired on the wind rush because he's at one health instead. But I did it. Whatever. Uh, yeah. Yeah, sure. No, I I gotta do it on the wind rush. I have to. Because I need this talent out. And yeah, I should have fired on him anyway. Got a one. And yeah, wind rush. No source off the wind rush. <laughs> but yeah, so now this guy's out. Uh, he can move around and everything. But uh, I need the air defense towers to start chiseling him down. Uh, that is that. So um, their turn's done. My turn. Uh, let's see if the Forsaken is going to do anything. Yep, they're good to go. Uh, one, two. Because uh, you can move on water, so they can go through those mountains. Uh, let's do Osh. One, two. And, oh, I forgot. Their Elf and Kazi would have for sure came down. One, two, three, and bombed Cram. Yep, for sure. On when they moved last. Almost missed that. Okay. So Cram's in dangerous territory here. Uh, he will actually move one. Oh, forgot the raise again. Let me do the raise. Oh, I'm such a mess. <laughs> uh, let's do the raise on this one. Yep. So we get rid of this tower. Uh, three source. Up to five. Okay. Uh, does it go? Yeah, it goes there. Okay. Um, so continuing on with Cram. Cram was here. He will... Go here. Okay, Spires will fire on Cram here. Uh, one gets blocked, not, no damage because of armored. Uh, now attack time. This is interesting. So Osh could kill this guy, he's got two left. And doesn't get him an upgrade or anything. But he might as well do it. Yeah, get one source up to six. Harrier gone. No counterattack, of course. The next Harrier comes out, three health. Okay. Um, uh, I did the Spire already. Uh, he'll just attack the Spire, getting rid of fortification. Cram will uh, fight this refuge tower. Refuge. Uh, Forsaken. He can attack, no problem. He's just going to smash this next Harrier. Uh, Boom, gone. Hits for four. No counterattack, of course. He destroys it. Go up to uh, another source at eight, I believe. Was that seven or? I'll just leave it at seven. Uh, looked like it was seven already, but okay. Either way. Um, all right. So they're all done attacking. All right. Next. Uh, they'll move. So this guy can't go anywhere. This guy, I mean, he's blocked. I can choose him to do a lateral move, but I don't want him to because I don't need him attacking uh, towers or anything. And it's optional. I don't have to do it. So I'll leave him there. Uh, okay, so quick strike. Uh, who does he want to hit here? Has to be the hero first, right? So he'll take away two off of Osh. One fortification, one health. And Osh will counterattack for two, putting this guy at um, one left. Spires will now fire. So let's do air defense tower on the Royal Talon for one. Takes it down to four. They're done. My go. Who did I find? Roughneck was under a temple. So I haven't seen the engage for a swamp yet. Uh, so I probably don't want Cram to do that. So maybe Cram. Okay, start my turn. Let's do this raise. Let's not forget. Uh, we'll fire on. Uh, let's go for this one. Uh, so I take away a ranged. Okay, uh, Cram will, 
can't go here. <laughs> I can't get to this tower uh, the way it is. Should I do a limited build option? Yes. Actually, yes. Let's do that. So the raise went. Let's do limited build option number one. Uh, let's go down to one. And we'll put a another siege tower. Now that we have this spot open. Let's really attack in there. What am I doing? Yeah, I'll throw it right here. So it could reach this one, we hope. Okay, so uh, in the move turn, move time, move time. Oh, let's just forsaken. Uh, got a blank. Um, cram. I'd love to take him over to fight this tower, but maybe this one's the one I should work on. Or maybe just stays here and does survival and not attack at all. Uh, let's actually leave cram here okay osh one two okay he's good and this guy one two yeah that's more progress he's closer now so that's fine um, so he's good. Blank die. All right. Uh, spires. So Cram's going to get shot at by this one, but one gets blocked by armored. Next is attacks. So Cram will fight this tower, get rid of it. Uh, three source up to four. Okay. Um, oh, and he gets, uh, let's go with a, let's do an attack. And this guy can't attack anybody, but this thing can. And it will just squish this Harrier, getting me one source up to five. And all the Harriers are gone, just like that. All right, they will go. Uh, one. Two. Okay. Uh, he's just going across whatever he wants. He's got water. He's going to the fortress gate. Um, and we'll just let him go, I guess. He hits for three, though. My base is already at eight health. So that's a little dangerous. But got some air defense towers, I guess. Okay. Uh, so this guy's done moving. He will attack here for three. Oh, yeah. He won't make it. He's going to retaliate on right now. One, two, three. And boom. Retaliate on for four. And that is the end of the wave, I believe. Is there any way I could have moved this guy differently? No, nope, I don't think so. Because the, the wave ends, I think, even when the Forsaken are out. They're kind of like the Elf and Kazi. They don't keep the wave going. Uh, what is it? Unruly. Before this unit's movement is your turn, roll the Forsaken die and apply the results to this unit. If a Forsaken are the only faction minion type in play, the wave ends and the Forsaken stay in play. Cannot be grouped or use a talent Riftwalk. Uh, so I get four source. I'm popping this bird. And that is that. Maybe I should have taken a fortification with this guy. Because I didn't realize the wave was going to end so quickly. But yeah, he can just stay there. That's fine. Oh, and this guy didn't do any... Oh, he moved, didn't he? Yeah. He moved. All right, we're good. Let's stop there. All right, end the wave. So let's see. Wave four. So we're going to start. Oh, end of the wave. Sorry. Drilling outposts. Let's pop that for six to go up to 15. Okay. And then roll an event die. I was going to screw us this turn. Six. So we can't build Aegis. Uh, I got two still there. That would have been nice. Oh, well. All right. Uh, okay. So we'll get three more source from my drilling upgrade up to 18. Uh, get rid of this limited build option peg. 
Market phase, what do we got? I build another source well down there. Do I mess with the path at all? Kind of make them go somewhere else? No, I don't think so. Oh, you know what I could do? If I purchase this for two, I could uh, make it so Cram can actually get to that tower. And then have another source well option. But that's two source. No, I won't do it. I won't do it. Uh, I don't need to buy anything there. So pass on the market. They're going to build Airs Stables level three, which is, what is that? Stables three. Oh, the Joust training die. Okay, so the Joust training die. So it gets them, basically, it could get them extra health. One or two extra health on a Joust. All the Joust in play for that prep phase or an extra one attack or as a one blank. So we'll put that there. Actually, let's roll it right now. So they're going to get two extra health on all Jousts in this wave. Annoying. Um, okay. And then add a range upgrade to the bottom of each air spire. One here. One here. So yeah, this is the difference. If I would have done the towers early enough, if possible, then it's less I have to deal with now. Because these are trouble at range now. Uh, Cram can't just run in there and smash this one as easily. It'll have multiple turns being attacked. But it only has one attack, so that's fine. All right, my build. Uh, I'm sitting at 18. Let's get Smelter. So we're going to 15. That's going to allow me to build uh, Source Sieges on the promoted side. So they hit for two with range. So that will be helpful. Um, okay, let's do... Uh, do I do another? Air, do I do an air defense tower? Oh no, I can't. I don't. I can't do another number, another one. Let's do an upgrade on here for four, uh, down to eleven. So let's do another attack upgrade. This can help speed things up. Uh, for attacking this, but it also probably will get hit. They're going second. Okay, so at least I'll get to shoot this with two dice first. Can I just build the other one now? Spend eight. Go down to th or sorry, six. Go down to five. And build another siege tower. Two range. One attack. That's all the range chips, so no more... And we're get to come out until I get some off of these towers or they destroy some off mine. Okay, so this will help too. All right, uh, I'm down to five source. I think we're okay. Or do I do one, two, three, four, five. Let's do another mining or drilling outpost right here for a three down to two. Okay. Yeah, let's do that. So now I'm at my tower limit. Unfortunately, so I wouldn't be able to do a limited build option to get another tower up. Oh, that's risky. Do I think I can do it this wave? So if Osh delivers the plans and ends it, if it ends it and I have four sieges, which is possible if I do a limited build option, but not possible if I have a drilling outpost out there. Uh, so let's go up to five. Back to five. Let's not do that. All right. I think we're good for builds then. I think we're good for builds. All right. Let's go on to setting up their uh, prep phase here. And so a Harrier Elite, three health. Okay. Now Joust, remember they get two extra health for this wave. So we have two regular Joust. So it's actually going to have five health to start on this group with a Royal Talon, of course, hidden underneath. Regular Royal Talon. Okay, same as last wave. 
And another Humminger, regular. So let's do three health under that. And let's put an Elfenkazi on him. And there won't be one over here because their tower is gone. But this thing can be trouble. Okay, so Joust, Joust, Royal Talon on top of the Humminger. And then a Harrier on top, promoted. Okay, I have 11 CP. So we're doing the Source Siege for sure. And it's coming out promoted because we brought Smelter level 2, 5 health. It's got transport, so it has to be grouped with something. So we can do a dispatch. Can't do the Aegis, right? So we can do a dispatch underneath, which might be nice. And so that is 9. And another Battleborn. Yeah, how do I want to do this? Yeah, let's just do a lag in Battleborn, I guess. No, let's do the Battleborn in front. So it kind of slows this thing down. Or do we want this thing sped up? I feel like we want it slowed down. I could be wrong. One, two, three. One, two, three. And some range might be helpful. So yeah, let's put it first, actually. Let's hide a Battleborn behind it. Okay. Try that. I don't usually do it that way, but I think that's what we'll do. Okay, I think we're ready. Let's get down to it. Uh, who's first? Bronin. All right, raise towers. Let's not forget these. Super important. Ah, uh, this one. One, two, three. It's going to fire on this tower. So two damage. We'll definitely get rid of the one range there. So we get a range chip back. This one. One, two, three. Not enough there. One, two, three. So it's actually going to fire on this one uh, to try to get rid of this range chip underneath. Whoops, wrong die. Two, so that gets rid of it. And then we'll fire with this one with two attack dice on this. Uh, for one. <laughs> Didn't even get through. The other one rolled a two, though. Ah, it's so weak. All right, so nothing happens there. Okay. Now, my guys. So we said... It's Harrier for four. Quick Strikes are, uh, sorry, Joust are only regular. So they're moving a little slower. So this Harrier will be one, two, three, four. Already up on Cram. But if he just chills, he can get another upgrade. Or another health from Survival. Hmm. Osh is going to move here. I think. Hold on. Where is this? So, uh, one, two, three, four is Harrier. Then out comes two is the Joust. So that means the Humminger is here and the Elfenkazi. I don't think it can glide bomb through Siege Towers though. I don't think it can, can do that. Maybe not, but its range is two, one, two. No, so it wouldn't be able to do the glide bomb yet. I'm just debating leaving Osh here so we can heal up one more. Yeah, let's leave Osh there. Let's see what the unruly does. Nothing. So this guy can actually. Oh, do I move? Yeah, I think you roll that die at the start anyway. Before this unit's movement. Yeah, sure. That's before its movement. Yeah, he can move here. Osh will chill. Cram. He'll get quick striked on, but only one gets through. He hits back, kills, and then he can take a fortification upgrade. It's something. But it like kind of evens out. But it does get rid of the Harrier up front. Yeah, he'll stay here and do a survival. Okay. Uh, oh, these guys back here. One, two, three. Uh, one, two. Okay. No spires to fire on me. One, two. Yep, yeah, nothing. So we're good. No attacks. Uh, this, no, that's okay. We don't need to explode that right now. All right. They will go. One, two, three, four. 
One, two, and one. Okay, so quick strikes are here. This guy will attack an attack off the tower. Done. Uh, this guy will quick strike here. Only one goes through. Retaliate for three because he has an attack upgrade. So he kills this Harrier. I get a source up to six. Cram will take a fortification. Okay, Harrier gone. Sweet. All right. Um, now this thing, both these guys are going to attack this tower actually. Yep, both these units here. Double attack. Uh, oh, Spires will fire first, actually. Hold up. Only Quick Strike goes first. So Spires. Let's try to take out the Humminger. So the Elfenkazi can't move far enough to get to me. Uh, so let's... One, one here. Uh, so it's one. It's two health left. Whoops, I'm banging everything out here. All right. Um, this one. One. And this one for two dice. Probably should have did the two dice first. So done. Nope, just enough. So two source, up to eight. Elf and Kazi falls on the ground. Well, he's flying still, but he doesn't have a perch. He's way up higher on. Uh, Humminger gone. Beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. That's great. Oh, okay, so now the Elfin Kazi will attack. Move a range from this tower. So less attack on the tower. Okay, uh, my go. Start of my turn. Let's do some raised towers. Uh, one, two. Fire on the gate, but I don't think I want to do that. This one doesn't have enough range anymore. It's been neutered a little bit. So let's do uh, two attack dice first on this. One, can't get through. Wow. Let's do this one here. Uh, three on that, so it takes away fortification. Or a range, sorry, range. Okay, that's all those. Um, where, one, two. Limited build option. I want to upgrade this thing. Yeah, I do actually. So we'll do limited build option. We'll upgrade the spire. So for three, we'll take it down to five. We'll put another range back on it. Where is it? Range. And then for two down to three, we'll put a fortification on the bottom. This elf and Kazi will move two. I don't want him hitting the bottom of it, so that's fine. That is fine. Okay. Uh, now my go. Let's go one, two, I'll stop there. Uh, this guy will move one, two away. This one will move one, that's fine. All right, um, I think Osh should have had another health from survival. Yes, I forgot. Okay, because he didn't move, right? And Osh. Gosh, we'll just hide up here in the trees for now. Just want to go into harm's way. Uh, okay, so let's check if this guy moves. Nope, not allowed to move, but he can attack. Uh, one, two, three. One, two. Okay. Uh, now attack. Oh, uh, actually, I'll explore. Tracks are loner. Engage. Got to do it. Four. This guy's not wor the worst. Okay. So I no longer can attack this with Cram. I have to attack here, but that's okay. This guy only retaliates for one. That's not bad. Oh, forgot Spire's firing on Cram. It's a two. So it actually gets rid of the fortification. Ooh. Okay. Uh, Cram will attack for two. Get retaliated on for one. Down to one health. Uh oh. That's a no good. Uh, all right. Uh, this guy can't attack. 
One, two, three, four. Not enough range to hit anything. This guy's good. All right, there go. One, two. Uh, one, two, right? Because he has two elfin from last time. Thanks how that works. Um, then uh, quick strike. Nobody to strike. Spires will fire. So this guy's flying, so I can't. Not enough range on the air defense tower. But we have these three here, which will f one, two, one, two. Yeah, they all can fire on this guy. So let's go uh, two attack dice first. So that's two. Okay. Uh, this one for one, and this one for nothing. Okay, sweet. So it's down to two health on the first joust out of the group here. Okay, uh, one, two. Oh, actually, this can fire on it too for another one. <laughs> down to one health. Okay, uh, it already passed its quick strike thing, didn't have anything to attack. This guy can't damage here, can't damage here. It'll pick the hero over a spire any day. So uh, armor blocks, retaliate, hits the flying guy, uh, which gets me two source. Up to five. Cram will take a fortification upgrade real quick. So we can hopefully survive. Or that's them, right? Yep, they're done. My go. Uh, let's do... Let's raise. One, two. So we'll fire with this one. One attack die. Get a one. Get rid of the range so now it won't hit Cram down there. Sweet. This one. Actually, let's do two dice on this. Finally, break through the fortification on it, and then we'll fire at it with the other raised tower. Yeah, and finish it off. Sweet. One source, up to six. Minarets, just there. Beautiful. All right. Um, now, Cram, he will stay there. Osh. Osh, osh, osh. One, two. Cram could move away. One, two, three. Okay. He doesn't need more upgrades. Maybe I can use Osh to get this one. But Osh shouldn't deal with it. Maybe Cram will stay there. Osh can just run around. Sure, that works. Because uh, I need that source will open just in case I need to build another spire. Uh, if one of these gets destroyed somehow, or maybe one of these gets destroyed. Uh, oh, I still need another, another siege tower down there still. Ooh, I didn't even think of that. Yeah, I still need one more. Oh, I can build it up here. Build it up there. But we'll wait. We'll see what happens here. Okay. Um, so Cram will stay. Uh, this guy, can he move? Yes, he's good to go. One. Uh, let's go two. Okay. One, two, three, one, two. Okay, now attack time. <laughs> Let's go. I mean, how long do I want this to keep going for? Is there a way I can build? If I build, hold on, maybe I can close this off right here and I'm gonna go to the next wave. Okay, so I need another Dispatch or another siege tower built. I could do that here. Yes. Osh needs to be in place to go after the gate and not let the other guys get around him. This guy can move over here to hit this tower. So I can possibly still get rid of it. Let's try. Uh, so I missed that limited build option anyway. Do I do it? 
think I do it. Oh, well, I already started moving all my stuff. That's fine. Um, all right. So Forsaken, what's under here? Joust's Royal Talon. That's the thing I can't let run too wild on my base. But that's okay. So let's play it safe. So Cram will fight this thing. I'll get four source up to 10. It's gone. Cram's already got two upgrades. He's good. There's no Spires of Fire on me, right? Yeah, no. This one, one, two. Okay. Osh could get greedy. Take an upgrade by fighting this Joust. But then the Forsaken will kill the next Joust. And all we have left is this Royal Talon to keep the scenario going. Uh, and I don't need these guys coming down and killing the base yet. So how do I do this? Yeah, let's just do it. Uh, either say Osh doesn't attack. Yeah, let's say Osh doesn't attack. Ah, no, let's do it. Let's do Osh attacking. Uh, we'll go to 12 source. Uh, Osh will take fortification. Okay. Uh, this Joust will come out at 5 health. Yeah, oh, yeah, see? It won't get killed by the Forsaken right now. Forgot about that. Because it gets the 2 extra health here, right? Perfect. Makes it last longer. <laughs> All right. Uh, next. It's Cram fought. Osh fought. Forsaken. Cannot hit this. Oh, yeah, it can. Yeah, it's not flying. It's the next guy that's flying. Uh, so down to one on the Joust. Oh, but see, the Source Siege is going to smoke this Joust right now. Yeah, either way. Uh, so... Let's actually do the Source Siege would hit first. Take off two, down to three. Can't retaliate. Then the Forsaken hits it and kills it. So no retaliate because uh, it's defeated. And then five health, Royal Talon with flying. Joust gives me two more Source up to 14. Okay, those two have attacked. This guy can attack. Done my turn. I think I'm done. <laughs> uh, they will go. Uh, it's just this guy, right? One and two. So it does a spire first, right? Not the unit. Yeah. All right. Uh, spires will fire. This can't hit him. Only this air defense one can for one die. Hits for two though. Uh oh. Down to three on the Royal Talon. Royal Talon will attack, hitting the spire. Taking away one. One of the range. Okay, now it's my turn. Uh, the raised tower. Let's fire on this one. A two. There it is. Yes. All right. Uh, got rid of the fortification. Okay. Uh, this one. We'll fire over here. Up for one. Get rid of the range. The other one will roll two dice. And kills this tower. Getting three source. Up to 17. Crushing it so far. Okay. Um, that's the raise. Limited build option. Let's do it before we forget. Done. Okay. Dispatch. Or sorry. Siege tower. Siege tower. One attack. Two range. Right up here. Uh, ooh. One, two, three, four. Actually right here. So it can work on this. Yes, yes. Just in case. All right. That's that. Uh, so limited build options all done. Cram the mighty. One. Two. Three. Osh. One, two. Actually, yeah, that's fine. This guy, uh, can he move? Mm, he can't attack, but he can move. One, two. That's closer. Yeah, that's closer. Uh, I can't get him close enough to kill this thing. That's fine. He can just chill right here. Uh, this thing. One, two, three. 
Oh, I forgot this thing can shoot it too. Yes, it's all working out. One, two. Okay. Spires. Only this one. Can't hit anybody. It's got no range. Um, attacks. So this thing's firing over here. Boom. Kills the minaret spire, uh, which gets me one source up to 18. Oh, I forgot to spend it when I built this thing. So let's now drop down to 12. So, oh, Osh is beside the gate instead of attacking. Oh, this is fine. This is fine. This is fine. I don't have to choose. Let's finish these guys attacking. This guy doesn't attack. This guy doesn't attack. Uh, Cram the Mighty. He's good. Osh, instead of attacking the Fortress Gate, I'll just do it, right? Because I, I think I have them all. Uh, let's see here. All the objectives. Have number of siege towers was four, all within four hexes. One, two, one, two, three, one, two, three, uh, one, two, three, four. Yeah, that's fine. Defeat all air spires. Done. And have Osh deliver terms of address to the Air Fortress Gate. And that says when Osh ends his movement adjacent to the Air Fortress Gate, he'll deliver it in place of attacking. But I guess you can choose not to attack, but I'll do it. He will deliver it. Boom. We did it. All right, we win. Awesome. Done. That's it. So having all that extra source, I think, from those achievements definitely helped get the towers going faster than, than I assume normal, obviously. Uh, just getting source there when I normally wouldn't have it, I think was key. I think the drilling platforms and the source drill upgrade, all that stuff definitely helped get me enough source that I could buy the escapes when I needed them to and to get the upgrades I needed, enhancements I needed, and build the towers I needed. I thought I would have needed more source to be keeping them going, which I did. I mean, I had to build some of them, put upgrades on them after the fact they got started getting hit. But I'm surprised this one never really got smashed. Oh, this one will get killed real quick, but I didn't let the units really get there, right? This guy's chilling here. And, uh, but yeah, I don't know. I just assumed this guy would be smashing towers way worse, like I've seen him do in the past. Uh, but yeah, I love this one. This one's awesome. I love the whole long path. Uh, I like the, the Earthscapes kind of manipulating it to get us a way to sneak around so we don't get, get all choked there. It was kind of cool. Yeah, just some weird landmark pops. I don't know. What's under here, actually? Oh, Grail Vipers. I was hoping it'd be a portal. What's up here? Source Peddler. Oh, okay. I was thinking of going up there and fighting it with, like, Cram, working him up, getting ready for when uh, Jalela Nest Jelena Nestor, I think she comes out, obviously it has to be the next wave. Yeah, she would have come out in wave five. Oh, with a Royal Talon to start promoted. Uh, flying, six health, four attack, three movement. Yeah, good thing I didn't need to deal with that. Uh, all right, so I didn't even need to get to wave five. I ended it in wave four. There we go. Uh, the wrap-up says, if you succeed in this scenario, note the location and upgrades on all siege towers within four hexes of the air fortress gate. Record or take a picture of this information as it will be used in air scenario one. There you go. I better take a picture before I clean up. That's for sure. Anyways... That's it. Thank you to all our Patreon backers for supporting us here. If you'd like to donate to help support the channel, help keep us going here, help improve, help buy new equipment, get to more conventions, buy more games to play on the channel, all that stuff gets invested back into this hobby. Uh, there is a Patreon link down below in the description. Thank you everyone who's donated in the past or currently. You guys are all awesome. Please consider it. Um, the next thing, thank you uh, to everyone who's been leaving comments and watching. Hit that like button if you want to help other people find these Cloudspire videos when they're searching. Uh, subscribe if you're new here. That helps a ton. That helps the channel out a lot. Also, leave comments below. If I goofed up any rules, I missed something. I always miss something playing these solos. Please timestamp it down below. Leave the comment. It helps me on future playthroughs. Also helps people watching these videos in the future learn from my mistakes. Uh, that's why I'm doing it, to show off the game here. Try to show strategy, even when mistakes are made, so we all can learn how things are done or not done. So look in the comments below if you're watching this to kind of learn in the future. Uh, there should be comments down there um, letting me know, or letting you know what uh, what may have been done wrong or different strategies you can try. So I always appreciate those comments. Anyways, stay tuned. We have lots more Cloud Spire coming up on the channel. Uh, we're going to be playing some more Too Many Bones too, lots of other playthroughs. So make sure, like I said, you subscribe and hit that notification bell so you don't miss any 
of the future videos when they pop up. I don't always share them on social media. I don't wanna be like hounding the groups. So if you guys wanna share these videos around, if you haven't seen that I've shared it to the groups you are in, the Cloud, where the Cloudspire fans are, please share it on Reddit, share it in your Facebook groups, wherever. Spread the word, help other people find these videos. And the more views, the more popular it is, the more I'll keep playing through this solo campaign and keep it going. So the airs are up next. I'm not sure when I'll get to it. Obviously it depends how good the these four scenarios with the solo, uh, the reception on them and the Cloudspire videos in general. So if you want to watch, uh, if you want to see the airs for sure, share the video, hit that like button, you know, make sure you get, let other people view it or help other people find it would be great. Anyways, thank you so much for sitting here with me through this all the way to this point. I appreciate you watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.